Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here. We did it. We knocked out 2022 Tops Inception Baseball. Full case, 16 boxes. Pick your team number 12. Oh, that's why that person was asking that earlier. Yeah, not Wednesday. We can do this right now. We're, we're doing it right now. Um, this is a wax party break as well. So at the end, I'll randomize everybody's names on this list here. And someone will have a chance to be in the party. Big thanks to this group for filling it up. Straight up, no filler. Britt with a uh, last spot mojo Astros. And there's everybody else. Thank you everyone for making this happen. Appreciate it. Now let's pop this case open. Now there must have been some supply chain issues, if you remember, because they had to fill this with like extra paper and so they couldn't find the exact box, I guess. Which makes unpacking this a little difficult sometimes. All right, so there's four stacks of four to make 16. See the four, all the four stacks of four. All right, good luck, everybody. Oh, you know what? I forgot to check if we have another case of this. I think we do. After this break, I'll post another one. I'm pretty sure we have another case. Maybe we can run this back at some point. Uh, if I remember correctly, the third hit from the top, the third card from the top is the hit. And. All card chip, of course. There's the Crone Zone, Jay Cronenworth, to 50. And then behind Nolan Arenado is 54 out of 99, Ryan Mountcastle. Nice jersey and autograph for the O's, Aaron with Baltimore. Good start. We got the sounds of uh, Padres at Giants on the background. Bottom of the sixth, Padres up by a run, 2-1. I think Jock Peterson just, did he beat the shift? Bunt his, bunted his way on? Yeah, good for him. Curtis Terry to 25 for the Rangers. Raymond and the Rangers. Really like the design of this inception this year. There's Josiah Gray. And we've got TJ Friedel. 95 out of 125 Cincinnati Dusty with the Reds. box. Good luck. Is that the hit? Where's the hit? No, that is the hit. All right, there's Josiah Gray. 111 out of 150. Keeps his walks down. Could be a really good pitcher. There's Inku with the Nationals. And behind Cal Raleigh is a Brewer, Joe Barlow. Or no, a Ranger, that is, Joe Barlow. 62 out of 299. He may, may be doing some closing for the Rangers. That'll be for Raymond and Texas.
All right, behind Byron Buxton is two-color patch and autograph, Matthew Verling. Rookie patch auto for the Phillies, 114 out of 249. That'll be for Josh Monroe and the Fightin' Phils. There you go, Josh. On the board. And that's the first quarter of the case. Here's another four. There's Mike Trout. And behind Trout is a Yankee, Trey Aubergine. Aubergine? Aubergine? 20 out of 75. That'll be for the Yankees. Dusty. With the Bronx Bombers. What's up, Harry? Harry saying sick veerling. Tell me about him. Is he, he going to be good? I don't know much about him. Oh, wow. Wild pitch. Scores a run. Come on, Padres. All right, 94 out of 99. Nice Jesse Winker. Oof. Catcher was looking inside. Pitcher pulls it way outside. Oh, he's looking good. Oh, he's, he's on the team. He's getting starts. Nice. He's getting playing time. I like that. 94 out of 125. Curtis Terry for Raymond and the Rangers. Is he on the big club or is he looking good in the minors? All right, next box. We got Max Kranick, 219 out of 299. Max Kranick uh, is a pirate that goes to Jeremy Harder, Pittsburgh. Ryan Harold said he played today, beat your Mets. Sorry tonight, great and center. 0 for 11 at the plate, but. Yeah, I think I saw that too on, on MLB tonight. I think it was like a little bit of a, a, little bit of a comeback win. Are you singing Doobie Brothers? Whoa, whoa, listen to the music. Is that what you're singing? I think that's the Doobie Brothers, right? All right, behind Rafael Devers is Josiah Gray. There he is, three-color patch and autograph. Could be a big breakout year for him. 18 out of 50, former uh, Dodgers pitching prospect, one of their top prospects, actually. That is for Inku with the Nats. I saw that. Did TV catch him saying that? I heard about the three errors that Alec Baum made. It was a rough day at the office for him in the field. Halfway through this break now, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but he said... But he TV cameras caught him saying, I effing hate this place. Wow. So... You think he's gonna? You, you think the grounds crew is gonna have a chat with him? There's Matt Chapman to 50. There's the motorcyclist Fernando Tatis Jr. And behind Matt Olson is Jake Berger, 88 out of 99, jersey and autograph for the White Sox. Ryan Harold on the board with the Shy Sox. 
Mmm, burgers. We'll give it two colors, a little bit of gray right there. Next box. Yeah, fans gave him a standing ovation after he made a routine play. He was caught saying it. Oh, he was talking about the fans. Oh, I thought he was talking about the, the field. Maybe he was saying like he didn't like the way the dirt or the grass was arranged, but he was talking about the fans. That's not good. Oh, Alec Baum's going to learn a lot about Philadelphia and their, and their fans. Silver signings. That's a, that's a one per case situation of, that's right, Ryan, not hit list today. We got him. We got B, Boston, Baltimore. Oh, Boston. It's Raphael Devers silver signings. Oh, he apologized. He's forgiven. Got it. I don't know. I mean, I would kind of laugh that off. It's just like, yeah, I, I, I sucked in the field today is what I would say. I would applaud me too if I had made a routine play. There's Shane Bieber. And behind Anthony Rendon is a Ranger. That's Yol Pozo. 36 out of 75. Nice color there. Nice autograph. Raymond and the Rangers. All right. We are about three quarters of the way through after this box. Good luck, everybody. It's like another jersey and auto coming up. All right, good luck. Gavin Sheets, another White Sox RPA. Some nice colors in there too. 20 out of 50. Another one for Ryan H. Well, I think Sheets is a little, isn't he banged up a little bit? No, maybe a day ago he said that he's back on the bench on Sunday. No, maybe he's fine. Anyway, I feel like he had a really nice season. So hopefully he keeps that going. Gavin Sheets. All right, final four boxes. Good luck. Yeah, he doesn't give, give a sheet. got Alejo Lopez 176 out of 299 on card autograph uh, on card autograph for the red legs that's going to go to Dusty and the Reds Three boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Bo Bichette. Uh, 
And we got Angel Rondon. 67 out of 99 for the Redbirds. That's for Lauren and the Cardinals. Two more boxes, two more hits to go. Out of 150, Kyle Lewis. And behind Jackson Kowar is Greg Diekman for the Cubs. 243 out of 299. Lauren and the Cubbies. Final box. Good luck, everybody. And there's still a wax party opportunity as well. So if you did not have a good break, you can still cross your fingers for that wax party spot. If you had a great break, the wax party spot would be a nice cherry on top. All right, behind Curtis Terry, on-card autograph for the Phillies. Luke Williams, 21 out of 50 for the fighting Phils. Josh with the Phillies. Harry said he's going to be at the game tomorrow, and he's saying Phillies 12-4. You heard it here first. I wonder what kind of odds I can get on that uh, on, on, a, uh, on a site where I can do such things. I feel like that would be like to get the exact score right in a baseball game. That must be... I don't know, plus 5,000? That might be, might be in the works. All right, let's gather everybody's names here. New dice, new list. And let's roll it and randomize it. One and a six, seven times. Name on top after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think once more, seventh and final time again. After seven, good luck. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Spot two. Lauren, very close. Not quite, though. Thanks, everybody, for giving this a shot. I appreciate it. Name on top. Happy times for Dusty. All right, all right. Team Goodry right here in on the action. There you go. Thanks, Dusty. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.